I'm Mac, I'm a research fellow at Corning Incorporated, and I'm going to show you some glasses. Here these glasses look clear and they don't have much color to them, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to excite them with the ultraviolet light, and now you can see they're emitting colors. So they're absorbing the ultraviolet light and they're re-emitting them in the visible portion of the spectrum where our eyes can see it. And why this is important is for a few reasons. First, once you have red, green, and blue, you can color mix them to make white or any other colors under the rainbow. So these are all just mixtures of red, green, and blue. So this is what you used in your LCD displays, in your TVs, and your computer screens. Glasses like this may not look fluorescent, but they are actually emitting in the infrared where eyes can't see it. It turns out that glass is most transparent in the infrared, so that is where fiber optic networks operate. Over long distances, optical signals get weak, but we can use these infrared fluorescent glasses drawn into fiber to make high-speed optical amplifiers to boost these signals. These amplifiers increase the reach and capacity of telecommunications and help enable the internet. 